Hi everyone, welcome to rubberyhill.com. My name is Hillary, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the technique of how to tea stain paper. Now first off, if you're watching this video and you like what I'm wearing, and you're an advocate for Made in America, then I'm pleased to tell you that this dress was actually manufactured right here in California, and you can find it at rubberyhill.com for sale. So let's get started. Now I put about three cups of water into this pot and now I'm going to put this, the fifth of five different tea bags that I've put in here into the pot and I'm gonna bring that to a boil. So now that this is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off and I'm going to add in the paper. Now the size paper that I'm going to be using for this is four by six and the reason I'm doing that is because my end goal for this project is to make cards and that's a pretty decent size for cards. Now I'm going to let this sit in here for about 40 minutes and the longer you let it sit the more vibrant and deep the color will be. So now that these have set in the tea for about 40 minutes I'm going to start taking them out one by one and I want that antique texture, so I'm just going to crinkle them a little bit before placing them on my wax paper that I have set out. And I have my heat gun that I'm going to just start drying them off with. So once these have dried, you've successfully completed your tea stain. So just to give you an idea of the before and after, this is how it began, and this is after your tea stain. Now, if you were wondering why I had gone about drying it with a heat gun, or you could dry it with a blow dryer, but the reason that I do that is because in the end it ends up laying a little bit more flat. So to give you an idea of what it looks like when you line dry it, it turns out just a bit more crinkly. And the reason for that is that it just kind of gets tossed in the wind and turns out like this. Now, I don't know if you can tell from this video, but on the corner here, it shows the clip mark of where it had been clipped in. And again, that's, that's why I like to dry it with the heat gun. So thank you for joining me for this project. And once again, if you like the dress that I'm wearing with its pocket and made in America, uh, check it out at reveryhill.com. Thank you so much.